Hey buds, I first want to say thanks to everyone who watches here on YouTube. I'm glad you're enjoying the content as we continue progressing as a channel and a community. Hey, do you remember this guy? You're a pussy. PUBG view bots their own top streamers. If you don't, that's because the video was taken down within 24 hours of it being released. But don't worry, it's back up again. After watching this current video, make sure you head over and check it out. Link in the description. It's a must see. Thank you again for all the support. Help the algorithm by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Stay rock hard. This is the roadmap. We're gonna watch the, the dev talk roadmap and then we'll pull up some patch notes and we're gonna check it out. This is what PUBG's got coming this year. I hope offering a diverse way to have fun with the game doesn't mean like they're going to add more animals in the game and stuff like that. Like I, <laughs> if you want to make it easier for people to enter into your game, let's, let's, let's make things streamlined. Let's make all the maps, like the map should be different, but the fundamentals of the game should be the same. And we played the game a little bit today, obviously, with the, the new patch. <clears throat> and all the 8x8 maps have Revive on it now and no Comeback BR, which I think is really huge. It's really good. Because you shouldn't go into one map and the game be completely different from another map, right? You shouldn't have new players coming in and going, Oh, there's blue chips on some maps, but not on the others. You know? 모두가 저마다의 스토리를 완성하고 게임을 지속하는 동기를 얻기 바랍니다. 두 번째는 라이브 서비스 고도화입니다. 런칭 이후 저희 개발팀은 끊임없이 새로 Don't bring the servers down anymore. Let's find a way to like rotate it. Let's let's uh you know have another server available so when you bring the one server down you can have people play, right? No more Tuesday downtime. Come on. 새로운 경험을 제공하는 것에 집중해 왔습니다. 새로운 콘텐츠들도 물론 준비되고 있으나 올해는 더 장기적인 관점에서 시간을 가지고자 합니다. 2024년에는 아웃 게임에서도 다채로운 플레이 경험과 라이브 서비스 고도화라는 동일한 목표 아래 플레이어들에게 다양한 콘텐츠를 선보일 준비를 하고 있습니다. 위에서 이야기해 주신 두 가지 큰 방향성 아래에 준비되고 right, 있는 내용을 전체적으로 Come on. 설명드리도록 하겠습니다. 먼저 다채로운 플레이 경험 측면에서는 기존의 치킨을 향한 긴 여정 중 초중반에도 유저들에게 플레이 긴장감을 더해줄 수 있는 신규 시스템을 준비하고 있습니다. 기존의 배틀로얄의 최종 목표는 유지하되 새로운 경쟁 요소로 준비되고 있는 시스템이니 많은 관심 부탁드립니다. 추가로 새로운 컨텐츠 이야기에는 콜라보레이션과 스킨에 대한 내용도 빠질 수가 없는데요. So are they, 여러분들에게 Are they going to break in into some of these things that they're going to add like the early to mid game like additional things to do like are they missions or something? 스카면서도 같이 높은 IP와 새로운 스킨 상품 형태도 준비하고 있으니 기대하셔도 좋습니다. 두 번째로 라이브 서비스 고도화 측면입니다. 2023년에 처음 여러분에게 클랜을 they did. They introduced a clan system. We know about it, right, buds? We got five clans. Hopefully, they take some feedback from us and say, please, increase the amount of players that you can have in a clan. Please. Okay? We want... We want, like, a thousand member clans, right? I mean, I, I don't know why it isn't that way to begin with. 정보였고 플레이어들의 많은 사랑을 받았습니다. 다만 아직은 즐길 거리가 부족하다라는 플레이어들의 의견도 있었습니다. 이러한 의견을 반영하여 2024년에는 클랜 안에서 더욱 큰 즐거움을 느낄 수 있도록 다채로운 콘텐츠들이 준비되고 있습니다. 이외에도 다양한 업데이트가 준비되고 있으니 2024년도 많은 기대 부탁드립니다. 자세한 이야기는 직접 개발을 담당해 주신 개발자분들에게 직접 이야기 들어보도록 하겠습니다. 
하지만의 다채로운 경험으로는 월드 업데이트를 가장 먼저 떠올리실 것 같습니다. 올해는 파괴 가능한 월드를 선보이고자 합니다. A destructible area, like, okay. It would be super cool if they could make it to where like the walls of buildings and stuff, like if they were able to be destructible, um, but not in the same fashion as like what's on Karakin. The whole thing on Karakin is like, there's just a, an obvious square that you can throw one of those you know, bomb, sticky bombs on it, blow it up. Um, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do this. Let's see what they say. 합니다. 여러분이 건물의 문을 부수고 그 틈새로 수류탄을 던지는 것처럼 월드와 상호 작용할 수 있다면 더욱 다양한 전략 전술을 펼칠 수 있지 않을까? Wait, where you break down a door and lob a grenade through it. But they're showing some guy with a pickaxe. <laughs> Digging out a hole, baby. <laughs> This isn't that bad. I think this is pretty cool because if you can, in the wide open field endings, you can dig a trench, stuff like that. I think uh, that's not too bad, but at the same time, I don't know how much I'll like it because you could just like go out in a field and dig a hole and just hide in it. How deep do they go? How big can you dig it? You know? Where do you put the dirt? Does does the dirt go into your inventory or something? I... <웃음> 아, 하는 생각에서 시작되었습니다. 지형 진물을 파괴함으로써 은 엄폐를 직접 만들거나 교전 우위를 점하고. Okay, that's pretty cool. Using a panzer and blow a big hole in the ground. I don't know. This part of me also thinks that panzers shouldn't even be in the game. 오. 이동 동선을 단축하는 일들을 상상해 보시면 좋겠습니다. 아직은 다방면에서 논의가 진행되고 있는 상황이지만 다가오는 4월 업데이트에서 부분적으로나마 이를 체험하실 수 있습니다. 기존의 월드에 변주를 주어 새로운 경험을 선사하는 것도 올해의 과제입니다. 당장 3월 13일부터 만나보실 수 있는 7주년 기념 에란겔이 좋은 일일 텐데요. 이처럼 게임 플레이 경험은 그대로 유지하되 시즌 콜라보레이션 Oh my gosh, I just, I kind of cringed a little bit right there. Hold on. Hold on. What does that say? They're literally using the word gimmicks. I feel like the gimmicks take away from the game personally. Like all the, the I would even throw self AEDs in the gimmicks. Self AEDs, critical response kits, um, uh, panzers, thermal scopes. I, whew, man, okay. Well, hopefully when they say gimmicks, it's like this stuff, like energy drinks, KFC sponsors, things like that. I want to know what their definition of gimmick is. Because if this right here is their definition of gimmick, this kind of stuff is cool. I like the uh, KFC uh, deal. I like this whole thing with the seventh anniversary where you can get energy drinks and all that stuff and they have... Uh, different vending machines and places and stuff. I, this kind of stuff is cool. But don't be adding more bears and other things to the game. Season collaboration, 모두에 맞는 기믹이나 오브젝트를 추가하여 상호 작용하는 월드를 만들고자 하니 많은 관심 부탁드립니다. A gunplay. This is we're getting into the juicy stuff. 이어 올해도 총기 다양화와 새로운 기회를 창출하는 데 집중하겠습니다. 특히 올해는 메타의 변화를 많이 이끌어내고자 합니다. 기존 AR이나 DMR 같은 범용적으로 사용되는 총기의 위상은 유지하되 Okay, while maintaining the performance of commonly used weapons. So, I'll just say, one of the issues that I have when PUBG goes to make a balance, right? Way back when, M4 used to be the AR of choice, right? Barrel was kind of poop. Then they, they made the decision we're going to buff the barrel, but simultaneously nerf the M4. Then they did it again with the AUG, right? Buffing one and nerfing the other. So like the one thing that I hope they start to do is like the guns that are working as intended or like people like them, they're a part of the meta, right? 
I think they need to just leave those guns alone. And then if they want other guns to be included with the meta, you buff those other guns. Okay? So I feel like the SCAR deserves some love. The AK deserves some love. But buff those guns, but don't nerf the other ones. They, uh, why, can't, why can't they just all be viable guns, right? That would also help with, uh, with the looting in this game. Because if you're able to just drop in and pick up a gun and it's viable, then you don't have, you, you just say, oh, it looks like I'm going to play with the AK this game. And a lot of the guns can function slightly differently from each other, but um, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to be like, oh, I have an AK. It's a placeholder for my barrel. 기주류 총기군이나 외면받고 있는 일부 총기들의 사용성을 강화하려고 합니다. 또한 매 2개월마다 건플레이와 총기 밸런스 업데이트를 진행할 예정입니다. 이는 더 Weapon balance is every two months. Okay. I mean, if they're if they're going to be active on it, I I like that. I like the the quick response. It takes some feedback, you know. 빠른 이터레이션을 통해 밸런스적인 문제를 제거하고. 안정적인 총기 생태계를 키워나가고자 하는 목적입니다. 또한 변화가 잦은 만큼 유저분들의 메타 적응에도 신경을 쓰고 있습니다. 다가올 3월 13일 28.2 업데이트에서는 아케이드를 통해 SMG 전체의 리밸런스를 실험적으로 보여드리고자 합니다. 총기 메타... Okay, we tried this and the SMGs seem like lasers. We can... Um, gosh, we'll look at the patch notes here in a second, but <laughs> there's a lot to talk about with this. 를 변화시키고 순환시키는 것도 중요한 목표이지만 건플레이는 게임의 근간이 되는 영역이기에 무게감을 가지고 신중하게 업데이트를 할 것입니다. 큰 변화가 일반 매치에 바로 적용되는 것이 아닌 플레이어들이 먼저 테스트하는 과정을 거칠 텐데요. 테스트 서버보다는 쉽게 접근하실 수 있도록 아케이드를 정... So they want to they want to use the arcade mode instead of the test server which I think is a good thing but they need to find a way to direct people into that arcade mode because this is the first day that it was out and we tried it and it was like an entire bot lobby. So like, how do you get people to go and try it out? I don't know. 적극적으로 활용할 예정입니다. 여러 지역 그리고 여러 성향의 플레이어들의 목소리를 고려하고 내부적으로도 충분한 분석을 거쳐서 잘 다듬어진 건플레이를 라이브에 업데이트하고자 합니다. 이처럼 건플레이에서는 메타 변화에 있어서 여러분들과 긴밀한 커뮤니케이션을 하는 데 초점을 맞추고 있습니다. 최근 2월 진행된 산탄총 너프와 같이 커뮤니티가 바래왔던 업데이트도 있으며 Yeah, the shotgun nerf needed. I think I think shotguns are um in a better place now. They're definitely not as strong. But up close you'll still get messed up by them. 꾸준히 의견을 주시는 스카나 AKM의 버프 그리고 OP Oh, oh. Here we go. The long awaited buffs for the SCAR and AK. Okay. That's good. The scars needed love for a long time. The AKs needed some love. We'll see what they do. AKM의 버프 그리고 OP 총기에 대한 조정도 예정되어 있다는 점 미리 말씀드리면 좋겠네요. Adjustments for overpowered weapons. Okay. I hope they don't do anything like nerf the barrel or the M4 or the AUG. I hope they leave those where they are. I hope they nerf the uh, the Dragon off. I hope they nerf that gun. Take away the instant uh headshot knock i think the dragon off is good if they were to make it so that it's the most powerful dmr but don't make it one shot level two helmets in under 100 meters i i wish they would get rid of that gunplay 일어나는 변경 사항에 대해서는 그 배경과 맥락을 live service environment is good 꾸준히 공유해서 납득할 수 있는 라이브 환경을 만들어 나가는 데 집중하겠습니다 이 밖에도 인게임 세션 경험을 확장할 수 있는 다양한 컨텐츠들이 준비되고 있습니다. 업기, 차량 태우기, 비상 낙하산 등을 통해 플레이어들이 Wait, wait a second. What does this say? We've noticed players desire for more diverse actions through mechanics like carry and emergency pickup. Huh. I don't know how many people eh. It's just it's a part of the game now like i'm not a huge fan of the emergency pickups and stuff kind of messes with rotations and things like that um the carry feature i think is really nice there's lots of times where 
You could pick up your teammate and get him to safety and stuff. I think that's cool. The new feature that they added where the co-op lifting up vaulting feature, I think is kind of useless at the moment. You can't really, like, there's very select few places that, that that is being used. The vaulting over vehicles, really cool. Let's see what they say. Exactly, yeah, I like that. Making a zip line. Wait, wait, wait. Making a zip line which is available on what? Specific maps. Okay. This is one of those things where I feel they should use the arcade like they were talking about with the gun balancing and they should test these features. And if it's respond, if the response is positive, put them on all the maps. We need consistency, map consistency. This is really cool. I like this. If implemented properly. This person needs to get some skins, Chad. Like at least a, a top, right? We know the pantsless is okay, but um, this is really nice because when you start running into there's certain buildings in this game in PUBG where there's only one way up and one way down. So depending on where the circle shifts, there's no way to really infiltrate the building. Um, the newer maps like Destin. Uh, Vikendi does a decent job. Rondo does a good job. You, um, you have multiple ways to attack a building because there's multiple staircases up. There's many different ways to get in. But on the OG maps like Miramar and Erangel and stuff, there's so many of these buildings, like apartment buildings, that there's one staircase going up. So if you're the team that's on the top, the team below you can't push up or if you're the team that's on the top and the zone's pulling away and you have to get out, there's only one way down. So doing something like this will allow for people to push buildings in different fashions, but I also see people probably being able to use this to get to areas that they normally would not be able to get to. We'll have to see how it works. <laughs> Mechanics toolbox is that the that the one well hopefully it's not the take a tire off of a car so you could put the tire on a different car. If you get some kind of a toolbox to like repair a car or something. You should just repair the tire. You don't need to take a tire off another car. I, I didn't like that at all. Because then the tire took a bunch of capacity. It's like, man. Just let people repair tires. If they if they put something like that in. What's PVE mode? Is that the classic? The casual? The casual mode? What's survivors left behind? <clears throat> I don't know what that is. Oh, the zombie, zombie mode? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Man, we talked about this today. 2024년에는 여러분들의 게임 플레이에 새로운 목표와 긴장감을 더해줄 다채로운 시스템을 준비하고 있습니다. 배틀그라운드에서는 최후의 일인이 되어 치킨을 먹는 것이 최종 목표라고 볼수 있겠죠. 하지만 플레이어들이 모두 체감하시듯 최후의 치킨까지의 길은 쉽지 않습니다. 저 또한 때로는 그 과정이 너무 길게 느껴지기도 하는데요. 새롭게 준비되고 있는 이 시스템은 이러한 플레이어들의 목소리를 적극적으로 반영한 시스템입니다. 바로 매치에 같이 진입한 우리 팀과 다른 팀이 팀 점수를 획득하고 이를 통해 경쟁하는 시스템입니다. 각자의 팀이 킬과 순위로 점수를 획득하고 획득한 점수는 두 팀에 실시간으로 음. 공유됩니다. 두 팀이 모두 매치를 종료한 시점에 획득한 점수 Is this in the training zone? You enter in with another team and do battle. 
The winning team can go on for more victories. So it's like a, a trial kind of thing and each new teams come in and battle against teams. I guess I don't really know what this is. Maybe it's like a little small arena or something and you're doing battle against another team. And then if you win, you move on like a bracket system or something. Wait, so is that going to happen in the game? In the Battle Royale, like in between, like in the mid game or something? Or is it like something totally different? I'm kind of confused. I guess we'll have to see when it comes out. <laughs> Okay, can we make, let's like, let's like make this skins and stuff a little bit more affordable, huh? Right? Why, why we, why we need to spend like $500 on a skin? Like, I don't. Let's make it more affordable, huh? Come on. Community에서 이야기해 주시는 IP 콜라보레이션에 대한 아이디어와 의견을 항상 귀 기울여 듣고 있습니다. 특히 올해는 두 번의 특별한 차량. But if you are looking to buy something in the store, link up your PUBG account, Hollywood Bob Live, the creator code. IP collaboration을 준비하고 있는데요. 여러분이 손꼽아 기다리시던 IP와 함께 다양한 부가 기능도 준비 중인 만큼. Please. Yeah, make them more affordable. Make more of them. Make them exciting, please. 이 자리를 빌려 여러분들로부터 받은 다양한 의견을 반영하고 고민한 결과를 공유드리고자 합니다. 첫 번째로 다양한 무기군에서 다양한 형태로 성장형 스킨을 출시하는 것입니다. 펍지에는 다양한 무기가 존재하며 플레이어들이 선호하는 무기도 다양합니다. 이러한 선호도를 반영하기 위해 2023년에는 샷건 계열의 DBS와 탄탄한 매니아층을 가진 7탄 AR AKM을 6레벨로 출시. Like, come on, man. These are like Fortnite skins, dude. Let's get some cool progressive skins in there. Make it affordable so that more people want to buy them. You know? I, I think like even cutting it in half isn't enough. It costs thousands of dollars to level up. 했습니다. 2024년에는 성장형 무기 출시 간격 또한 조금씩 조정해 나갈 계획이며 여러 방면으로 새로운 시도를 계속해 나가려 합니다. AR, DMR은 물론 최근에는 샷건, SMG, LMG까지 다양한 무기군에 대한 여러분의 목소리를 확인하고 있습니다. 모든 무기를 동시에 선보일 순 없겠지만 점차 선택의 폭을 넓혀 나갈 계획입니다. 성장형 무기 출시 계획입니다. 지난해 2023년 블랙 마켓을 통해 플레이어분들이 오랫동안 원했던 과거의 성장형 무기들을 다시 만 the, the black market's good too because it, you know it sucks if like you like a skin and then you can't get it and then it's just gone. The black market allows you to get skins that are in the past, you know that have since uh, left the store but you can still get them now, so that's pretty cool. Like I said, the biggest thing for skins to me like I'm just skins are like subjective, right? S certain people like certain skins and certain people don't. The thing for me is just like make them more affordable. That's it. 만나볼 기회를 마련했는데요. 2024년에도 풍성한 블랙 마켓 이벤트를 준비 중이며 아직 선보이지 못한 like some of these are so some of these are so expensive that you're literally asking people to like basically like spend a mortgage payment on this, which is insane to me. Insane. 오늘 기다리고 있습니다. 여러분의 다양한 피드백을 바탕으로 올해도 만족도 높은 이벤트를 계획하고 있습니다. 마지막으로 최근 여러분께 소개한 크로마, 키리팩트 등의 새로운 기능들을 통해 성장형 무기 사용 경험을 더욱 풍부하게 만드는 데 주력했습니다. 그외 앞으로도 성장형 무기의 가치와 만족감을 높일 수 있는 새로운 도전들을 지속적으로 해나갈 예정입니다. 
성장형 무기에 대한 새롭고 흥미로운 변화에 지속적인 관심과 Enhance the value, the value of the progressive skins. My gosh, if I spent thousands of dollars on a progressive skin, it better come with aim assist and like allow me to have like silent footsteps. That's what it. That's what it should have. 부탁드립니다. 라이브 서비스에서 가장 기본이지만 또한 가장 중요하다고 생각하는 것은 바로 매치메이킹입니다. 올해는 보다 건강한 매치메이킹 환경을 위해 다양한 변화들을 적용해 볼 예정입니다. 펍지 배틀그라운드의 okay. 매치메이킹은 매우 다양한 요소들로 이루어지는데요. 핀과 같은 연결 안정성, 매칭에 소요되는 시간, 플레이어의 실력, 사용 언어. 오케이, okay, 매치메이킹. 오케이, okay. so they're gonna start sorting or like they're gonna start introducing matchmaking into the the lobbies um this is a great idea but i feel like this is way too late for na at least maybe even eu um you need to have a you need to have a population playing in order to make something like this work this this will probably work out great over in asia you know, where there's still 500,000 people playing every day. But here in NA, we're, we're struggling just to fill lobbies. We, we sit and wait for like two to three minutes just to get into a lobby. 어, 등을 조율해 매치를 성사시킵니다. 매치메이킹에서 가장 중요한 것은 쾌적하고 안정적인 환경을 마련하는 것이며 그 다음으로 중요하다고 생각하는 것은 플레이어 실력에 맞는 매치메이킹이라고 생각합니다. Yeah. I mean, this is the same old argument, right? Trying to find the best way to to get people to be in lobbies against people of similar skill levels. So like new players that enter into a game, they just don't get steamrolled as soon as they get into the game. Um, you know, it's not horrible. I don't know how I really feel like about the MM, the matchmaking systems, like it's good and bad because, you know, sometimes you just get into a lobby where there's a ton of really good players. And then sometimes you get into a lobby where you just roll over everybody and you win the game. Um, when there's when you have a ton of people playing, you have less of an issue. But you know, right now in NA, if people try to jump in, most of the people playing in NA have been playing for seven years, and most people don't miss too many shots, so you just get destroyed in NA. Um, matchmaking just won't work because, like I said, we're just trying to fill lobbies in NA right now. But who knows? We'll see how we'll see how it works over in Asia, I suppose. And if they do something where like they release PUBG with Unreal. Uh, Unreal 5, we may see a huge spike in players coming to play PUBG again in NA, and maybe this will apply. Who knows? Hago Isimida. Urene, Shilogamanin, Betchimaking in MMR, Chipjung Ebogoja Amida. Betchimaking rating, Chip MMRN. Betchimaking will be a Taiwan and Debujog in Suchiro. Pistan Shilok Sujun or Kajin Yujodri, Ungjongaga Kyongjang are seen in Hangang or Mandrojun in Yokar and Hamida. MMRN live services, Chisok Jogro Keson and Ryan and Yongyo. See, the other thing, the more I'm thinking about this, it's tough because, you know, there's there's going to be people that make Smurf accounts. This always happens. It's happened in Counter-Strike. It's happened in games forever. People reach a certain level, and then once they're sick and tired of playing at that higher level where everyone's super sweating, they, like, make a Smurf account and then just go plow low MMR lobbies. Happens in every game. 생각하고 있으며 유저분들에게 더 나은 매치메이킹 환경을 만들어주기 위해 노력할 예정입니다. 두 번째는 지역별 맵 로테이션입니다. 맵에 대한 선호가 지역별로 모두 다르다는 Come 점을 on. 감안하여 eight eight, 각 지역 선호에 Let's 기반한 go. 맵 로테이션 플랜을 단계적으로 적용 중에 있습니다. 안정적인 매치메이킹, 실력 기반의 매치메이킹에 더불어 유저분들의 맵에 대한 선호도 선택권 역시 충분히 고려해야 함을 알고 있습니다. 특히 오케이 okay. Individual map preferences significantly impact. I, well, they're talking about region uh, map selection, things like that, which obviously in ours, we don't have that luxury because there's not a lot of people. I still think the best way to solve the whole uh, map situation in our region is put all the maps in and then allow us a certain amount of maps to opt out of. Just like in Counter-Strike, where if you're going to go and queue in for a competitive lobby or something, you can uncheck the maps that you don't want to play. So 
if let's say you know you have all the maps in there i would opt out of like sanhok paramo Karakin, Rakendi, and whatever and then when you opt out of those maps you may wait longer in the queue but you know you're gonna at least get a map that you'd want to play 랩에 대한 개개인의 선호가 게임 경험으로 이어질 수 있어 2024년에는 지표뿐만 아니라 플레이어들과 소통하며 플레이어 여러분들의 니즈를 만족시킬 수 있도록 개선할 예정입니다. 마지막으로 매치메이킹이 원활히 동작하지 않는 지역에 대해서도 많은 고민을 가지고 있습니다. 올해는 매칭이 원활하지 않는 지역에 대해서 소통을 시작할 예정이고 매칭이 원활히 될수 있는 방안을 고민해보기 시작했습니다. 이러한 매치메이킹 변화에 대해서는 유저분들과 소통하는 것이 매우 중요하다고 생각하고 있습니다. 따라서 변화하는 사항에 대해서는 향후 개발자 노트를 준비할 예정이니 많은 관심 부탁드립니다. What is this? Hold on, hold on. Bot refinement. What I'm hoping is about to be said here, when they say bot refinement, I hope they mean bot removal. Is that what they mean by refinement? Bot removal? 저희는 향후 장기적으로 일반 매치에 포함되는 보스에 대한 고도화를 진행할 예정입니다. 현재의 보스는 누구나 보심을 인지할 수 있고 배틀로얄과 유동적으로 동작하지 않아서 보스로 인한 몰입이 떨어진다는 의견을 많이 받아왔습니다. 보시 단순히 게임이나 인원수를 위한 장치라기보다는 다양하고 재미있는 교전 상황을 연출할 수 있는 보스를 만드는 것이 현재 목표입니다. AI에 대한 심도 있는 R&D를 진행하여 보시 유저처럼 자연스럽게 행동할 수 있도록 행동 패턴을 세분화하는 작업을 진행 중입니다. 예를 들어 보시 팀원을 살리기 위해 연막 Oh my gosh, are they like investing tons of resources into building bots to act more like players? Dude, just <laughs> get rid of the bots. And in areas that don't have enough players, just start with a smaller circle to start with. That would be easy. People don't want to play against bots. People want to play against players. Have a casual mode that's only bots, and you could play it all the time, right? Just do that. So people that want to play against bots, go play against bots. People who don't, queue into a game. And if there's not enough players, like let's say only 80 real players come in, then maybe start the game like with a small like start the game in phase one or something i don't know there's other ways around it 을 뿌리고 뛴다거나 여러분이 자주 사용하시는 기울이기나 지그재그 무빙을 대인 전투에서 사용한다는 것을 상상해 보시면 좋을 것 같습니다 다만 기존의 게임 플레이를 너무 어렵게 하거나 기성년 유저들을 적응하기 어렵게 만드는 방식으로는 만들지 않으려고 합니다 또한 보시 오래되고 복잡한 시스템인 만큼 당장 빠르게 업데이트를 하기보다는 완성도를 중심으로 길게 보고 신중하게 업데이트 하려고 합니다. 플레이어 여러분들께서도 기대를 가지고 기다려 주시면 감사하겠습니다. 또 하나, 올해는 테스트 서버를 here. 운영하지 yeah. 않습니다. 기존 테스트 서버는 안정성 확인과 피드백 수집이 주 목적이었습니다만 라이브 서버와 별도로 설치, 업데이트가 필요해 접근이 쉽지 않았습니다. 앞으로는 라이브 서버에서 콘텐츠를 테스트하는 공간을 마련해 like 콘텐츠를 경험할 수 있도록 할 예정입니다. 앞서 말씀드린 바와 같이 다가오는 3월 업데이트에서 테스트 서버가 아닌 아케이드에서 SMG Oh, the SMG rebalance. We tested that on the server and they they seem like laser beams. We're going to we'll look at the notes here in a second. 밸런스를 테스트할 수 있게 됩니다. Oh, ranked. Oh my gosh. Are they going to say that ranked is going to be available in North America now cuz the population is getting high enough? 경쟁전은 펍지의 정체성을 그대로 담고 있는 컨텐츠입니다. 라이브 서비스의 고도화라는 방향성 아래 24년 경쟁전 또한 많은 변화가 이루어질 예정입니다. 첫째, 24년에도 일반 매치, 경쟁전, 이스포츠로 이어지는 연결고리를 강화하여 생동감 있는 경쟁전을 So let's see what they just said here. They aim to strengthen the linkage between normal and ranked and esports in 2024. Okay, so this is something that like Obviously, I don't play much ranked and I don't watch so much of the eSport. And part of the reason why is because normal games are different from ranked games, which are different from the eSport entirely. They're all three different. I, there are not many games that are like that. Like most games, the normal games, the ranked or competitive version of the game, 
and the eSport version of the game are all the same. Okay? And that contributes to its popularity. Why? It contributes to its popularity because people who play the game normally will then be able to watch the eSport and see what they do and implement that into their gameplay. Same with people who play ranked and whatnot, right? So like people who want to take their normal gameplay and play a little bit more seriously can go and do that against people playing ranked, but it's all the same. But when you have different gadgets and gizmos in, in all the different modes and everything's different, like there's just no continuity. It needs to be the same. E-Sports。So... Really, what I'm saying is like, if you add Rondo to normal, then it should be in ranked and esports. And kind of my perspective on a lot of this is if you're putting something into the normal game that you don't think should be in ranked or in the esport, then don't put it in the game. That's, and some people are going to have differing opinions on that, but that's just how I feel. Like, you know, part of one part of the thing that drives a popularity in a game is having a healthy esport and then being able to watch that esport and then be able to integrate and, um, you know, apply the things that you've seen in the esport in what you're playing. They, they want to make ranked mode a challenge. Maybe they should come play NA pubs. Penipiriada, this game Clans, increase the numbers. Come on. Oh, Clan missions? Okay. Are they increasing the amount of players allowed in the clan? This is all cool. Clan missions, cool. Can we increase the players? Clan 
플레이어들이 즐기는 한 해로 만들고 싶습니다. I'm just hoping they open up the amount of players. That's it. 올해도 PUBG가 오랫동안 사랑받을 수 있도록 여러 가지를 준비하고 있습니다. 그중 가장 핵심적인 내용은 UGC와 Unreal Engine 5 업... UGC mod and upgrading to Unreal Engine 5. That's huge. Upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 is huge. 그레이드입니다. 먼저 플레이어에게 자율성을 부여하는 UGC 모드를 준비하고 있습니다. 자신만의 세계와 룰을 만들고 지인 혹은 다른 플레이어와 놀수 있는 환경을 제공하여 PUBG가 앞으로도 오랫동안 사랑받을 수 있도록 nice. 목표하고 있습니다. 다음으로 플레이어분들이 가장 궁금해하시는 Unreal Engine 5 업그레이드. That just that just opens up so many doors. If people are able to to do some modding and stuff like People are going to find some fun modes with this, and there's a couple things. UE5 upgrade. Hopefully, that stuff a decrease the crashing, be better for people who, you know, have the more higher end computers. People who are, <laughs> you know, staying up to date with the new PCs that are coming out, so that the crashing would go away. Maybe make some things smoother. I'm excited for this big time. This is this is a huge thing. UE5 upgrade and modding. 입니다. 현재 PUBG는 언리얼 엔진 4를 이용하여 개발하고 있고 이를 상위 버전인 언리얼 엔진 5로 교체하려고 합니다. 언리얼 엔진 5 교체에서 플레이어분들이 가장 기대하는 요소가 바로 비주얼적인 변화일 것입니다. 현재 개발팀은 언리얼 엔진 5 교체로 최고 퀄리티의 비주얼 변화를 목표하고 있습니다. 캐릭터, 차량, 무기 Highest quality of visual upgrades for everything from characters to... I, I know there's a lot of people who really like graphics and all that stuff, but to me, graphics in a game are not everything. Look at... There's plenty of examples. Like, look at BattleBit. The graphics in that game are not super great. And people... run at super low settings just for super high performance and it's about the gameplay so to me as long as the gameplay the gunplay and, and all that stays the same the game should run smoother eliminate the bugs get rid of the crashes and things would get better so i'm hoping like maybe this will fix a lot of that if the game looks better cool But that's not a that's not a top priority, at least in my opinion. 월드 등 모든 요소의 비주얼을 업그레이드하고자 합니다. 플레이어들이 가장 크게 체감 가능한 요소를 말씀드렸고 엔진이 변경되면서 다양한 요소들을 변경과 유지하며 개발을 진행하고 있습니다. 모두 자세하게 말씀드리기는 힘들지만 퍼지의 상징성과 고유한 게임 플레이를 유지하면서 오랫동안 사랑받는 게임으로 만들겠습니다. Anti cheat. 안녕하세요. How many cheaters did we run into today, chat? Quite a few. Hello, Anti-Cheat, Shil Kim Jong-un. In the 24th anti-cheat direction, we are going to go on a lot about the anti-cheat. Let's see how many. Let's see how many people they banned. We are going to make a game for the 23rd anniversary of the PUBG Mobile game. We are going to make a game for the 23rd anniversary of the PUBG Mobile game. We are going to make a game for the 23rd anniversary of the PUBG Mobile game. 소통 강화를 하고자 했습니다. 이 키워드들을 중심으로 작년에 진행했던 주요 안티스트 대형들과 변화를 플레이 여러분들께 공유 드리고자 합니다. 먼저 대형력 강화 측면입니다. 자체 안티스트 시스템 자켓도스의 신규 기능 추가 및 개선을 하여 스팅 담지력을 증가하였고 이를 통해 2023년도에는 22년도 대비 약 30%가 증가한 So, what I'm curious about here, if they banned th over 3 million accounts and their peak player base, we'll even give them, you know, the benefit of, you know, the recent rise, over 600,000 players, but they banned 3.1 million This has to be duplicate accounts, right? I mean, they're just banning people over and over and over again. They get banned, they just make a new account. Banned, make a new account. How many of these have been rotating every month? You know? 3.1 million. Do a little quick calculating math here.
divided that by 12, that's 258,300 players per month that they banned. Okay? And if their peak player base is 600,000, I'm no genius chat, right? That's almost 50% of the people are cheating in this game. That's crazy. Now I'd like to say that I don't really think that 50% of the people are cheating. I think it's the same cheaters continually just making new accounts and just, you know, getting banned over and over again, right? But you know, I don't think it's as high as 50%, but could it be 30? Sure, it could be 30%. I mean, I... I don't know. That number is alarming, okay? Oh, last year, chat. Accounts banned for teaming. I'm, I was one of those. <laughs> there I was. I was one of those bad boys right there, baby. Woo. Hey, you're fired. Thanks for the 100 bits. Thanks for the 300 bits, dude. Thank you, 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 dude. Percentage of suspected cheaters in a ranked match. Huh. Well, there's obviously in ranked games, it's different because you actually have to buy the game or pay for the premium to be able to enter ranked, right? So in the normal games, you can just make an account and just go cheat, but you have to upgrade to play in ranked. So that's where they, they buy these accounts. Sometimes it's really easy to detect cheaters, you know? Like when someone's running around with like five times the KD at Tiggleton or something, you know? Level one account. Kebal de Jantro, on Chanjagi, Pangodu, Yogagasinda, Grigo, Tim Nonin Gisur, Chito Pulumit, Yonge, Boda, Chakotoguru, Hayong Abuja, Uzon, Aimbo, Yes Pidung, Chitotori Toxing Hatsban, Tim Nonin Oder Kebayo, Ilbu Chakum Hayasino, Apro, Yong Pomiro, Chimcha, Dalton Agar Kosinda, Ponzo Pulia Bundur Keso, Pujoni, my son Chaton, Kibodu Mouse Tangle. Wait, keyboard and mouse abuse amongst console players? Is that a is that like a big issue right now? Are people rigging keyboards and mouse to console and then just wrecking people in console? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh because that is just so pathetic, dude. Like. Hey, I can't, I can't compete in the PC realm, so I'm going to hook up a, a keyboard and a mouse to the console and rig it so that I can just mow down people using a, <laughs> a controller, which I'm pretty sure in console, the recoil is adjusted to be way less in console because you're using a controller, right? And there is no aim assist. So, 
And I know this because there's people who have used controller on console and then they try to play with controller on PC and it's vastly different and then they, they can't do anything. So <laughs> that's insane. Ilbanjan 게임 이용 제한 조치에 대해서도 개선을 진행할 예정입니다. 우선 컴퓨터 상에서 언급되는 오해를 정정드리자면 신고만으로 이용 제한이 제한되지 않는다는 점이고 신고와 게임 내 다양한 패턴 및 플레이어 데이터를 기반으로 조치가 취해집니다. 다만 그중 신고가 트리거가 되거나 혹은 신고의 한류 비중이 비교적 높은 So I'm assuming what they're saying is there needs to be a lot of people reporting and then they probably have an internal system to where it's like this particular person has to be hitting like a certain threshold of KD and, you know, certain win percent plus how many people are reporting them in order for them to get temporarily banned. Which makes sense. You don't want, you don't want to just have someone wreck in a lobby and then like everyone report them and then they just instantly get banned. You could have people grief reporting people for that. <laughs> 선량한 이용자들에게 잘못 적용될 수 있는 리스크가 비교적 높은 점을 yeah. 인지하고 yeah, yeah. 있습니다. Misuse against innocent users. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. 이에 저희는 신고와 같이 플레이어 본인이 자화할 수 없는 요인들을 이용 제한 조치에서 활용하지 않도록 제거하는 한편 Much more this anti-cheat is there. Enough. Enough for the anti-cheat. We know there's tons of cheating in this game. All right, I guess that's it. Alright. Brian, the sky. What? Alright. Well, that's the end of this video, but I want to pull up the, uh, the patch notes here. Because there's some things about the SMG that I want to look at here. This is the SMG rebalance. It's what they're calling it. And so I'm going to go through and I'm going to read all these and then I'm going to give my comments on it. Movement speed. Basic movement and sprint speeds while wielding SMGs have been modified to align with the speeds of an unarmed state. So when you're using an SMG now in the arena, it hasn't hit live yet. It's in the arena. You literally run as fast as if you don't have any weapons, which is kind of crazy. That's crazy. MP5 damage increased by one. The recoil horizontal has been reduced by 7%. Vertical reduced by 5%. That's crazy. Uzi, horizontal and vertical recoil reduced by a ton. They're making the SMGs laser beams. Okay, vector and Tommy gun, horizontal recoil decreased by 5%. Vertical recoil decreased by 7%. Bison, damage increased from 36 to 38. The bison was pretty weak, but... Horizontal recoil decreased by 5%. Vertical recoil decreased by 5%. Ump, damage increased... Did I read this right? Increased by two of the ump and reducing horizontal recoil by 5%. Adjustments have been made to damage reduction and minimum damage by distance for all SMGs with the exception of the P90. I mean, this is basically to me saying like we're making a bunch of world spawn P90s. This is like half of what I was saying that needed to happen with SMGs. But without one, 
without one major factor that needed to tie along with this. What is that? The limb damage multiplier. Limb damage multiplier. That's the problem. Because you increase the damage, that's fine. They should do more damage up close. We've been saying that for a long time. But the problem is that PUBG is the only game that rewards players that use SMGs for having horrible aim. The recoil is already non-existent and they're making it even easier. So it shouldn't be that hard to just aim at the head. I don't understand. I've lost tons of fights in the last couple of weeks to people with SMGs, even when I had an SMG because I shot and like, I, I hit center mass, center mass with one headshot, but they hit all legs and just instantly destroyed me. And no game rewards leg shots like this. Like, I, I don't know. The whole idea to me with SMG should be for like entry level players. Um, for entry level players, you get in and you get a gun and you have low recoil and you can play the game and actually, you know, be viable using an MP5 or something and in close range. But then when you want to, you know, get into some medium range sprays, you can graduate to an AR. You got to aim for the head, man. The limb damage multiplier is killing it. This is going to be really bad if they don't make an adjustment. I'm all about SMGs and shotguns doing tons of damage up close. They should. They should be strong. But you should reward good aim, not bad aim. That's my take on the SMGs. Utility belt's gone. Oh, man. <sighs> All right, well, we are hoping, chat, for the Unreal 5 engine. <sighs> come fast, please! Please come fast, Unreal 5. Oh. And I hope that these SMG changes do not hit the live server unless they remove the limb damage multiplier. That's it. <laughs> See you later.